Hi everyone, this is the look that I just finished creating for the video. So let me take off my glasses so you guys can see it fully. Um, a number of the products that I used for this uh, tutorial today were purchased in a Pure Cosmetics mystery bag that I bought back in May. So I put a couple of items to the test and I'll have all the information in the description below. So um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys like what you see. And I hope you enjoy the video. Have a good day. So hi everyone, I, today I wanted to do a tutorial of a look that I used um, this week, or that I put together this week. Um, again, I'm kind of out of my element, so you guys will have to forgive me, and uh, we'll see how this turns out. So let's get started. So basically what I did yesterday was um, I happened to go out to dinner with friends, and I wanted to put a number of items to the test that I had purchased from uh, pure cosmetics uh, mystery bag that they had in May and for anybody that saw that particular um, uh, video you know that I got a lot of stuff in, in the bag for like $20 so basically what I did was I wanted to put to the test which was the boxy charm palette and um, they also sent me in the package a uh, volume vixen uh, mascara, which I did like, and I'll get more to that when I actually apply it. And they also sent a very interesting mini of their correcting primer that gives you, that has like an illuminator in it. So I'll get to this in just a second. So let me take off my glasses and let me just get this, we'll try to get this started. Um, what I will say is that since the illuminating primer has a, a sun sensitivity warning, you will need to use some sort of sunscreen. So this morning what I did was I went ahead and I put on my general foundation, my general uh, moisturizer already, so my face is moisturized. So let me put on some sunscreen. And I just happened to have just whatever I had lying around, which this was a kiss my face sunscreen. So it, since it does have, again, that little thing has the, the um, the sun sensitivity warning because it has, I think it has like alpha hydroxy or something in it. So it does have a sun sensitivity warning. And I know I sound like a broken record, so sorry. But it does have that, so you will have to use a sunscreen. It's a little tube of primer, as you can see, it was the little mini sample. And just a little bit on the back of my hand so you guys can see it. Oops. What it looks like so hopefully the camera my webcam picks it up let me put on my glasses really quick and show you what it looks like so this is what it looks like and as you can see it kind of has like that sheen to it i hope you can anyways but when i put it on you'll notice it more and a small amount goes a really long way i just kind of put it on various spots on my face and then I rubbed it in but as you can see even on my hand it's kind of like a I hope you guys can see it you can you can tell that it's got sort of like a kind of like a, a shimmer to it sort of but it's a little weird because you don't really see it at first and then when you put on when you put it on and the light hits you in certain spots you notice it more so yesterday I thought I put on a little bit too much, but it 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 um blended well into my skin, and I didn't have any redness or irritation or anything. So let's move on to the next step. And again, this was their pure correcting primer, and it's called Illuminate and Glow is the name of this particular one. They have it in a mini, and then they have it in a larger size. So, let me get my um, concealer really quick. Now I'm just using up everything that I have here at home. So then this one was the Maybelline Master Concealer, or Master Conceal by Face Studio. And this was their light medium. And I know a lot of people put on their foundation first and then their concealer, and I've done it both ways, but I always feel that 
if I put on my concealer first, I feel that it, it kind of works a little better. But I, I think everybody has their own style on how to do it. And then I just have just a general little sponge. Trying to do a little better so you guys can see it, but I just feel bad holding the mirror up like this so it's out of the way. Maybe this will be a little better. As I said, I'm still learning. That doesn't look too bad. So, next thing we'll move on to just the general foundation. And again, since it is getting towards summertime, everybody can do this look any way that they like. And if you feel that you need to use just, you know, um, like a CC cream or a BB cream or anything that you use for your summer look, which is fine. And this happens to be the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir. And it's, this one actually has sunscreen in it, I forgot. It had SPF 20 and it's in color 775 and 770, I'm sorry, 755 is their soft honey color. And this actually was a sample that I received many, many months ago from, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was on behalf of Influencer. But I had so much stuff that, and of course the pump doesn't want to work now. As you can see, it is kind of a, it looks kind of dark on my hand, but usually once I blend it in, it's not so bad. So. And again, it, you will have to find a color that matches you. And since it is getting towards summer, I think everybody is kind of off color in that sense because you're either not quite tan enough or you're not, or you're still a little too light or the color doesn't really match you if you've gotten a little sun. So I'm kind of in that boat at this point. Then I just take my, my sponge again and blend it out. Then if you feel that you need to add a little bit more for coverage, you can. Which I might in just a second. And it does, I will tell you, for me, sometimes it does look a little orange. And then once it blends out, it isn't as bad. Then does anybody else have that problem that I do where one side sometimes comes out darker than the other? That always doesn't, that doesn't help either. That's what that looks like. So move on to the next step. So the next step was I put on my setting powder. I may do things a little differently than everybody else does, but I'm trying my best. So as I posted in the past, the setting powder that I recently purchased was um, an e.l.f. cosmetic setting powder, which I really do like, except it is very, 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 very dusty. And this is it. And it's their HD setting powder. And it's, this is sheer, it's white, but it's a sheer. And it comes with a puff, as I've mentioned before. But the only con that I have about this is their, the way that their product is dispensed. It's very messy. It's quite, quite messy. So this is what it looks like again in the top. And then you just, you can take a brush of any liking. I just have just a basic Swissco uh, powder brush and I'm sorry, this is a Precision Beauty powder brush. I just put a little bit on the brush and then just kind of swirl it around my face. Oh, and I will say prior to all of this, I sprayed my brushes once again with a little rubbing alcohol 
to make sure that they didn't have any bacteria buildup or anything on them. So I can say this much that this setting powder is nice because it doesn't really have a lot of, um, it doesn't give you like a ghost cast for somebody that's, that's a little bit of a darker skin tone. You do just kind of have to blend it in. And it does stay, as I mentioned in a previous video, I wore it for about 12 hours one day. And I will probably put it to the test uh, in December again for another event that I have. So it will be put to good use. Just let me check myself out really quick. as you can see it, it works well it doesn't really give you like a shine or anything to it so it works pretty good so then what I did was I did you know just my general um, my general like blush and highlighter so let me get that done really quick <clears throat> uh, really bad thing about this it's very it's again it's like really dusty and you make a mess all over the place I'm gonna have to send elf cosmetics a letter I think and tell them to please change their packaging for this so clean off my hands and next thing will be this so if anybody comes across these wet and wild mega cushions I suggest that you invest in one of these because this is really nice I really do like it and it's really easy to use. And I like it because it's like an all-in-one. So it comes with the little like pad and it's a moist cushion. So it comes with a little top on it. And then there's your highlighter illuminator. And this is kind of cool for the summertime because it's, this one is in color 103A. Who is that pearl? I don't know if they sell it in another shade as well. But I actually found this last year at my local Walgreens. So, again, if you'll excuse me in my mirror. But I do like this because it's very nice to apply. And you can do it with your fingers, a brush, or the little pad itself. And it's, again, a light... A light color and when you're in the right lighting as you can see hopefully it really does give you a nice illumination especially when you're outdoors And again, I'm still learning how to do all this, so I'm a little out of my element. I also like to put some on my cheeks because then I blend it in with um, my blush and it gives it kind of like that nice shiny look or that shimmer. And sometimes, too, I even do this. I put it on my eyelids to add an additional shimmer to my um, eye makeup. Or underneath, anyways. Okay, so that's what that looks like. Hope the camera picks it up at least. So what I did from here was I did just my general <clears throat> my general blush. And that was actually part of the uh, BH Cosmetics, that nude blush palette in its 10 colors. So what I did yesterday was I mixed kind of like this mauve color. I mix the first two colors, this one 
and that one with the gold color at the bottom. And it kind of gives you a nice shimmer effect. And again, I just use my general precision beauty blush brush. So again, I, I use the first one. Hold it up so you guys can see it. I use this one and this one a little bit. And a little bit of this last, like, goldish. Let me hold it up so you guys can see. This goldish color. Camera can pick it up. That's kind of what it looked like at the end. It's kind of like a weirdish orange, but it worked pretty well. So again, let me grab my mirror. Sorry, people. That's what that looks like. <laughs> See this BoxyCharm Pure Cosmetics Collaboration eyeshadow palette? works well i did like it i can also admit that some of the colors were a little chalky and i've noticed that a lot of people have said that in um various online posts i was not familiar with boxy charm i was familiar with the what they had like that subscription box but i had never used any of their actual products until i ordered that mystery bag so it was an interesting thing to do, but right now before I forget, let me put my eyeliner on. This is just a general, just a regular CoverGirl. It's CoverGirl Perfect, Perfect Point Eyeliner, and it's an Onyx. It doesn't look too bad. Could be slightly better, but you know, it is what it is. So that's done. Let me go ahead and get back to this boxy charm palette for a second. So I used essentially four colors yesterday. I used the boxy black as the base and then I used um, this duet which is kind of like a chocolate as an added effect and then I finished off with Alliance which is kind of like a greenish color and the one next to it which is Charmer. So let's get to this and I'm going to use the mirror from that instead. So what I found out with most things is if I use my finger for some of the darker colors, it works better for me. So the only con that I had about this boxy black is that it's kind of like a smoky color. It's not a true black and it has kind of shimmer in it. So you guys should be able to see that, hopefully. So let me put this on. But as I mentioned in a previous video, I liked being able to, um, I feel like I have more control using my finger because then I went in with Duet just kind of like as an overlay color because I wanted to see how they paired. And it's kind of like I said, it's like a chocolate almost. It's a little hard when I swatched it. It looked sort of like between a chocolate and kind of like a deep plum, but I think it's a chocolate. And so then I just kind of, as you can see, I just kind of went ahead and put some on my finger and I just kind of overlaid it on top to give it a little bit more, I guess you could say depth to it. My other finger. So see on my finger, it looks kind of like a chocolate almost. And then what I did was I actually used a brush for the the other two. These two, the greenish and like the gold was I just kind of overlaid them on a on an eyeshadow brush. So one of these yesterday. And again, I just used just the basic Pure Cosmetics. I'm sorry, Precision Beauty eyeshadow brush. I cleaned it off. I just kind of later it because Alliance is kind of like a, it's almost sort of like a, a, uh, a rose or um, it's kind of like a gold, but it's kind of like a greenish gold, I thought. So as you can see, I just kind of layered them. I hope you can on the brush. And then I just kind of patted it on. I 
I tried to blend it as I went along. So I think it, it pairs nicely. And then um, I also took just the little bit of, I finally got around to trying this crease brush that came with the, the blending crease that came with the Pure Cosmetics mystery bag. And I used just a little bit of the Perfect, which is the first one, which is like really, really light. And I took just a little bit of that on the brush. And I just went ahead and just kind of dabbed it on the top of my crease. So it gave it kind of a little more color dimension. And then I kind of just dabbed it on my already done I look as well. And then I went in because I remembered I had the Pure Cosmetics um, liquid. Uh, what are they called? Quick Pro Glitters. There we go. I have this one. And this one is actually in the color Namaste. It's kind of like a like a neutral color. It's not really gold and it's not really, it's, it's, I don't really know what you would call it. It's, it's a neutral color. And I use that also. So I'll show you how I use it in just a second. Since this actually has like a little silicone pad at the end, as you can see, it's kind of like a neutral color. It's not really gold and it's not really, I don't really know what color you would call that. But what I did was is I went in and I used it kind of like a liner at the top. To clean up the mess I just made, as you can see, I used a um, just an angle brush, if I can find it now. Just a general like angled eyeshadow or eyeliner brush. And then again, this is from Precision Beauty. And I just went in and I kind of smoothed it out a little bit. Because I ended up getting half of it on my left eye, all over my eyelashes. Any fall off or anything like I just did right now, you can just go ahead and clean up as you go along. So what I did at the end was I cleaned off my eyeliner brush and I, again I used a little bit of uh, I think it was Charmer and Alliance again, it was these two, as kind of like a, a liner at the bottom. So. I'm gonna put too much on there. I think I just used Alliance yesterday. This was it. And then I just topped it off with um my Bite Beauty. Gemini lipstick and I can't say that I've used this a couple times already and I really do like it it's very um, creamy and it blends well so what I've been doing is I've been blending both um, as you can see it has two sides it has red and then the other one's kind of like a neutral color so I did the base as the red And then again, I just kind of went over and tapped with the neutral color. And 
and together it kind of gives you a different blending. So this was, um, oh, I forgot to put on my mascara. Oopsie. I forgot, you guys. So that was that. And let me get to the mascara really quick. I can't believe I forgot that. So this again was the Volume Vixen mascara and it's only sold in one color. It's black and it's a four in one mascara. I still don't know what the four in one does, but it did give me volume and it did separate my lashes. And um, the wand is a very nice size. So we'll see in just a second. And it has individual, I hope the camera picks it up. It has individual um, little strands and they're wide. So when you apply the mascara, it doesn't tug your lashes. It didn't, I didn't poke myself in the eyes. So let's be happy with that. And it, it does give you a very nice volume boost. So for being my first time using this Pure Cosmetics product, I was very, very happy with it. Let me put my glasses on. <laughs> so. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and um, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see. Bye!